Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you today how to make this double pocket uh, with tags all from a uh, 12 by 12 and I will go with you over a uh, variations of this stuff now I'm a uh, it can be uh, like this and it can be a uh, cut very straight it depends on what you uh, like wh what your preferences so I'm moving this aside I've picked two 12 by 12 and uh, you don't have to do two but I'm that's what I'm usually do because then if you can see here these are the two pages that I've used and then I have alternated between them and I think it's more interesting and then you have also more in your stash and not only one that you did so I've got these two that I, uh, I like together and I'm just going to put them uh, one on, on top of each other and I'm going to mark uh, seven inches on both sides I don't uh, really care about uh, where uh, about the design it's kind of blend here there is no uh, focal point so it doesn't really matter and I'm marking now here the seven inches now you can play with the measurements but uh, this is what I liked at first I have done this but I realized that I don't like uh, this so thin and elong elongated um, pocket and that I preferred something more wide but it's up to you you can uh, always play with the measurements and if you are not sure you can uh, do a mock-up on some any kind of paper newspaper and then when you are satisfied with what you have then you use it as a template and on your 12 by 12 so I'm cutting at the 7 inches mark moving this aside first I'm going to work with these two pieces now I'm going to mark at the uh, 8 inches like so again it's just something that works for me you can do whatever uh, you like once you see how I'm assembling it then it would be easier for you to play and see what works for you cutting and moving this aside this is the base for the double a uh, pocket so I'm going to do one that is like torn and one that is cut so you can see the two options uh, I'm going to fold it in half and this one too now here there are no measurements I'm just eyeballing it and deciding uh, where I want to start uh, my pocket so I'm just putting down my uh, ruler here it's easier because it's in the fold in the crease I'm uh, cutting a little bit here and basically that's where my pocket will start that's this point or this point so it's just eyeballing it I've cut it and now I want to, I'm going to start tearing and I'm doing it by hand and nothing is planned it just here it is one pocket second pocket this is it this piece is just going here now same thing here 
I'm going to put my roller here in the crease. I'm going to cut on here. Let's say, let's measure it. It's about um, four centimeters. And now, in this uh, double pocket, I'm going to do it not torn but cut again if this is not measured i'm eyeballing it how i like it one pocket two pocket so now to give more a uh, emphasis for the pockets i'm going to ink around them now if you don't like uh, the white or whatever color you have here of course, if you have a 12 by 12 like a Tim Holtz that is double sided, then you don't have to worry because the inside will be either either one of what you decided to use. Like this, this paper is from the Tim Holtz and, and it's double sided, so I didn't have to worry about it. Here was a white and I stamped it. You can paint it, stamp, stamp it, whatever you like. And I'm going to, uh, before I'm going to ink, I'm going to put something here because I don't like all this white space. I'm using the Distress Ink Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz. You can use whatever you have, it doesn't matter. Use, and I'm going to use now uh, some handwritten script. And again, use whatever you have. There, is, there are no rules. Just make something in the background that will be interesting. Stem butterflies, stem flowers, leaves, whatever you have, any kind of text. Or you can just paint it. So here is one. And let's ink the other one. Also another stamp with some uh, writing. really doesn't matter yeah I've got coverage so putting the stamp aside I'm just going to ink around the edges of all my pieces I've got make a sponge and the same a uh, ink ink pad and I'm just going now I've picked this up because it gives a more tattered and vintagey look and I really like it but it doesn't have to be you can uh, play with colors like uh, here I can also go with uh, some kind of olive green or even a light blue would be nice on it or turquoise it's really up to you how you decide to decorate. And here I also went inside. It was too pink uh, to my taste. And I went with the same sponge and just added to my page. And it now it looks more vintagey. So you can also do this and not only your edges where is here it is now the other pocket it's easier um, to ink first and stem first before you are uh, going to glue the pockets down now uh, another uh, thing that you can add is like I've done here I took a punch and made a peekaboo <laughs> that's what I call it just took a punch and punched uh, here and it's easier now if it was glued down I couldn't do it so I keep on so I'm moving this aside 
now uh, for uh, gluing down the pockets I'm using this is some kind of uh, a glue from my local uh, chip store it's supposed to be for mixed media and basically it's so smelly and it's and I think it's uh, the equivalent of e fix 6000 glue and I am only using it because it has a really thin nozzle and it helps me glue down and the pockets without a lot of mess now if you have score uh, tape you can also use that but basically you can use whatever adhesive you have it just uh, what is easier to use and uh, on hand you can even use just a uh, white glue it will just take uh, more time to to dry you can even uh, do uh, take washi tape and go over the edges and glue this down like here here and here with washi tape and you can add to the whole thing and of course you can also uh, glue down things here and stamp and decorate whatever you want so this is one this is the other one that is not torn but just a uh, cut straight line so I'm inking again and in several places like corners I like to go in a little bit more I like that it's not a uh, like accurate or exact I like random I like more tattered I like it more <laughs> free but that's just me you can also take a permanent marker and do all the edges with a ruler if that's what you like if you like symmetrical and exact options are endless really up to you takes time I'm sorry got it inked now again for the glue if you've got problems in assembling uh, something like that my best advice to you is do it on newspaper or any kind of available paper wrapping paper or whatever and practice on it make a template and only then move on to the paper that you want to use double pocket here it is so we've got the double pockets and now I'm going back to the uh, pieces that were left this is I uh, we we use the 7 inch uh, on 12 inch now this is the what is left the 5 inch on 12 inch so and now I'm going to uh, make my tags and I will just use a uh, one of uh, let's see I think I it was like four inches each let's see no I've done it smaller why did I, I thought yeah it's like eight centimeters but again just uh, play with what you have and let's see I'll just mark it And 
going to cut it. I've got the two pieces here. Now I'm just aligning it on my cutting mat with one of the, uh, the lines here, just to save time. And aligning the ruler and cutting. Whoops. Moving this aside again I'm kind of messy when I don't want to measure Moving the leftover aside, don't throw it away, it will, it's always useful, like uh, if you want uh, to decorate uh, afterwards you can cut out uh, or stamp on it saying or write on it and add to whatever you have like here. I've just, with the leftovers I've punched this um, hearts and decorated here or here I've used the punched out a uh, flower from this pocket and uh, added it to my tag so always keep uh, the leftovers now we've cut this and I've got six uh, pieces that I can play with and uh, decide uh, which tag uh, goes where but for first I'm just going to uh, pile them into one hip like so and I'm going to cut corners so it will have the look of a tag like this and so it will be uh, exactly the same thing on the other side I'm taking one of the corners and again don't throw them away you will you can uh, use them uh, afterwards and I'll show you so I'm taking one of the triangles that was here, flipping it over to this corner, holding it in place and using it as guide. And here I've got the tags. So of course uh, what I want to do is take switch between uh, the two uh, papers and this one of course we go here and uh, I will do also a backing because this is a, not a quite thick enough and this one will go here of course decorating is really up to you you can do whatever you want on uh, any of the tags now I can use these two that are left over uh, to do the backing and let's see i also have this leftover that i can cut for two more of this and i will have backing for the other two so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to use it like this And of course you can play I can also do one side like this and one side like this and you can always play and see what you want to use so I'm going to glue all these pieces down so I will have a nice thick and sturdy uh, tags and I'm going to ink around the edges and it's going to take me some time so I'll be back once I've done that I'm back so as you can see I've got here uh, the two tags with inking around the edges I've got the backing for each one and I also uh, punched a hole and put an eyelet and this is the last tag I'm 
I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it now these two are from my cheap store the quality is not that great but I'm working with what I have and before I had this I would punch a hole with this and uh, punching holes I will just use one and do it and I didn't ha have eyelets so I uh, used a uh, what do they call like a uh, paper uh, holders not holders <laughs> uh, little uh, white round uh, stick uh, stickers that you put so your paper won't tear so I would uh, use those put them uh, glue them down and paint them gold so and just uh, an idea and here is the eyelet and it always turns crooked because as I said it is kind of a uh, low quality <laughs> now uh, in these tags I've used here to decorate with uh, baby wipes not only baby wipes these are the ones that I wipe are uh, excess paint things that I have here <laughs> and made a mess and I'm saving them now I don't have a uh, one that will uh, complement the colors I have here but still I want to show you something about the baby wipes of course what I'm showing you now it depends on what kind of a uh, baby wipe you have there are all kinds of uh, thicknesses and textures and some of them are more like fabric some of them like more like paper but I do want to show you something uh, most of the time uh, baby wipes will stretch uh, when it, they are like this uh, on this side they don't stretch so why am I telling you this because when I have cut a ribbon here and started to put it uh, through the eyelet it stretched and when I've cut a piece from here it didn't stretch so just so you will know now uh, this is kind of flimsy so if you want uh, something uh, if you want your uh, trim or stripe to be a uh, more accurate and to cut it easily uh, my advice is to fold and I'm doing something like this and then I will cut it I will show you um, like folding taking scissors and I'm never using uh, the edge I'm cutting it as close as I can so I will have straight line cutting 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 <laughs> and now I've got four like this that I can play and uh, decorate whatever I want now the, as I said the color is not a uh, doesn't go with this so I'm uh, going to use some of my um, uh, set, satin uh, ribbons yeah I think my camera stopped recording uh, all by itself I don't know what happened so I'm continuing I've put a, a ribbon here and stamped just to make it more interesting and here I've already put a ribbon and again I'm doing the same thing here now you can use also lace whatever you like and I'm trimming it a little bit now I don't know if you know it but if you are using uh, this kind of ribbon it uh, needs to be uh, sealed at the end or it will fray so either use a lighter like I am if you are afraid to do it with the lighter just take a little bit of uh, glue uh, to the edge and it will be sealed so we've got uh, this now I want to show you why uh, I told you to keep all these uh, corners that were left 
and I'm going to use them here moving this aside so let's see I've got I can use them here to add interest and let's see like so I'm going to take a little bit of glue again No, this triangle just doesn't seem the exact one like the other side so I'm trying to find some <laughs> another one no never mind I'll use this one I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing because little details here putting it down in the corner and just so it will be with uh, the same I'm going over the edges so it looks apart from the whole design my phone quit on me again it's just frustrating and so I'm going to try and speed this along and now I'm going to put down the corners from uh, this paper on this tag on the tags just to add for the decoration and I'm going to stamp something on my tags and I'll be back once I've done that again just so I can finish this video without it uh, quitting on me again I'll be back I'm back so um, <clears throat> finishing with the tags I've punched a I have this a uh, butterfly punch that I've punched out of my leftovers again always using the leftovers and I've got another one that I'm going around and inking again otherwise it just uh, disappears it needs more definition to be uh, shown on this background and just uh, so you know uh, when you have little details and you can't get inside with the makeup sponge I'm taking a q-tip and just going over the edges like this and then I can go inside all these tight places And now I've got a more defined butterfly. So here are the tags with the corners that I showed you. Again, from the lo leftovers, I can also stamp add words whatever I want to these tags and <clears throat> sorry and I also can add the same uh, stamp I used here as a background I can also add it here uh, in several places just to tie everything together and I'm going to step randomly and very lightly just to add something Here it is. Double pocket with two tags from 12 by 12. And this is it. 
here it is I will bring it closer to the camera in hopes that you can see all the uh, little details and that's it I still got uh, leftovers here I'll probably use them in another project even this can be used I can uh, cut it like this and put it on another paper and add it to some kind of one of my uh, pages like so or start another page with this so there is always what to do with the leftovers <clears throat> so this is it for now I hope you've enjoyed it and that you uh, get to play with all your papers and I hope it will give you some ideas. Uh, just play. I don't have anything else to say. Just play and have fun with it. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.